Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of The Witcher 3. We're back in the beautiful land of Novigrad this time. I know there was a bit of confusion um, in the comments last episode. Yeah, there was some confusion in the comments in episode 20. I was reading a bunch of comments saying that I had to go to Skellige, but apparently I didn't. I didn't have to. So we're back here in Novigrad. And we are going to be rescuing Dandelion, hopefully. Continuing our quest, a poet under pressure. I think this is the last one in Novigrad, but I could be wrong, I'm not sure. But we are going to be finishing everything in Novigrad, hopefully today. And uh, then we can head back to Skellige. Of course, I will always be um, heading back to Novigrad because I, I have a lot of side quests. But uh, I won't do side quests probably till streams, so. But right now, let's go finish this quest and rescue Dandelion. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Oh, that's just because of Triss. Huh. So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here Did since they figure the out that again. all the mages escaped? I'm to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. All right, well, I don't have a pass. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on, how do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're not your concern. Back to your Thank birth. you. I was about to say, I was like, dude, I'm just trying to rescue Dandelion. This was not an issue before. The guards from Siggy Ruben. Ah. Uh, thank you, Digstra, man. Fuck yeah. All right. Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier than thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, uh, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? That is a good plan. But, uh, would have raised suspicions, yeah. Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! To watch the rains in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let us stay. Look at her. Oh, weepy eyed. <laughs> like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Uh, fine. Oh my god. If, if she stays and dies, I'm gonna lose it. She's gonna get in the way. 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 I know she. it's gonna be hard for her, but she can't be here. She's gonna get in the way. <laughs> this is no place for her. Something happens, I don't wanna have to explain to Dandelion why she was here to begin with. Need I remind you that you're here to rescue Dandelion, not me? Seems I can take care of myself. Fine. Try it. But remember. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Uh, not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Oh, yes. Sure. Let's play. A great, great idea. Let's pass the time with a little bit of Gwent. Oh, it makes me so happy. The fact that she even suggested that. Ooh. Alright, let's get rid of one of these decoys and the five. No spies. Right. 
Hey. Let's clear that weather. What else do you got? Give it to me. Alright. Let's drop, um... I'll save the fours. Let's, let's, let's use the eights. Scorch, okay. Fine, fine. Um... Go for the eight, and then I'll pass. Get him one card out. Okay, we pass. I'll use a decoy in my medic later. Alright. I love the music. This makes me so happy. Oh, he passed. Uh, oh, I don't want to waste on my fours, but I have to. Now we go all in. We go hard. Oh, that's me. I want that card. We got this. Jesus Christ. I'm worried to play the four, but I have to. I don't want him to scorch me. I'm a little nervous there. We got it. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> You're the one wanted to play. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Do I get her card? Marcella, stay here. Here we go, boys. And girls. I need to examine them. Here we go, here we go. 
this way. What do you want? Anyone ride through here? Two men, one slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, aye, something of the kind, dash by. Turned left there. But twere a wench you were carrying, swearing on me head, squealing and wailing so. All right. these dwarves what is it you tell me one of them hunters barged into our hut turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest there another man with him tall dark-haired i jabbering the whole time hmm. dandelion so hunters barricaded himself inside there another way in truth be told there is where's this other way in aren't you curious it's an ordinary tunnel, back way out in case of trouble. We don't let strangers in there. Show it to them, even. And there's... Shut it. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Serum door around the back. All right. Thanks. Sit there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. But what's there? How long do you think you can keep it? Don't worry about me. I'll be quiet. But don't stop me. You can't trust anyone. Once I saw one of them. Ouch! How do I get inside of it? There we go. <laughs> and how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My course is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Tankwrap Viscount the Bush tomorrow. Quiet. Quiet. What? No, 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 you see. Me and Jags, we don't... Oh, 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 oh. How long you gonna make me wait? Woo! Shit, how you doing there, bud? <laughs> we got him, boys. It's a good day. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. A friend in need. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. Huh? Huh? 
I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Oh, here we go. Back to Siri. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, bitches. Oh, shit. Fucker. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. I run. Go, Dandelion, go. Go! Ride! is gonna be hard how are we supposed to Oof. I mean we do have that lead in Skellige I forgot but oh my gosh ah what an adventure one minute we were pulling off the heist of the century the next we were prey a pack of hunters on our tail yeah a splendid story but I think I've had my fill of this boasting come Zoltan we must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Nobody's gonna read that. That's your interest in this? What about Siri? You'll, you'll, you'll have to make a fortune. That all you care about? The ballads this will inspire? Egos swell a bit lately? Getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. What does this do? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the He's other hand, has got to be pretty furious. He's dead. <laughs> Horson's dead. <laughs> Horson's dead. 
Ooh. Guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Ruven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. <laughs> Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Orson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it? She tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. <laughs> but I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific? A detail? Anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tanaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Can't we go talk to an, someone who's elven? <laughs> Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Oh, That was good. Sucks we didn't find Siri, but I mean, I wasn't expecting to, honestly. <laughs> Shit. Alrighty. Wow, I can now begin your blood and. Okay. Well, we're not doing that, though. <laughs> Ooh, level 19 now. I have four points available. I haven't even used. <laughs> Jeez, I have another slot available down here, too. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do here. I want my fast attack to be, like, the best. Okie dokie. So, I decided to keep everything on this side red. Just makes it easier. With the uh, red mutagen. I think, so far, I know you guys have been talking to me about builds and stuff like that, but I, I, I think I use my, like, sword and I use my signs and stuff like that. So, I think, you know, having good, you know, fast attacks, stuff like that. I think I'm leaning more towards that kind of build, I guess. I don't know what you would call that. A fast attack build. <laughs> but uh, Quinn is actually extremely important to me, so I'm probably going to continue to upgrade that as far as signs go. Alrighty, looks like we are done with Novigrad as far as main quests go. We are going to go ahead and head to Skellige. Um, we will continue our side missions in Novigrad later in a different stream. There's a lot we still have left, so we'll be back. We'll be back for sure. As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. 
Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Crack and Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Oh, it is rainy today, boys. Come on, Roach. All right, let's go meet up with Yen. Whoa! It just cleared up randomly. Oh, look at all the horsies! Oh, so cute. Look at this. Maybe, but I've got good reason. I hold Siri dear too. You know this damn well. Yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Try to understand Yen. She did it for Siri. Uh, we got Croc's permission. These are all great answers. <laughs> um, I don't consider her. Try to understand her. She did it for Siri. He's not gonna. He's not gonna understand her. She did it for Siri. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? Huh. She's using it. No. Jennifer's used the mask. Oh, shit. Again? Oh, my God. Well, I mean, it's raining, but, you know, a little rain never hurt anyone. Maybe the myths aren't true? I don't know. It's pretty dangerous. saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. 
Oh, I'll survive somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind. Let's go. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's this just way. do it. Already found the first spot. Right. From it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Come on, Yen. Oh! Ah! Alright, we're good. On the mask. Whoa. Watch out! Whoa! What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. This is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a single chance of survival. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Serious experience. Okay, that's all of them. To another portal. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Oh. That companion and the one who wounded her how do you know i don't making an educated guess they both appeared in the previous visions siri's got a powerful ally the mage who was with siri fled too nowhere hmm. his trace pass leads to velen as well but the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. the explosion must have disrupted his teleportation Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Siri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Oh. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Hermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! It's At someone's death were to help you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well?
Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else! Everything else be damned! Is that it? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless! It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? We learned something about Siri. We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Siri was here. She stepped out of a portal. The mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Siri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. For a body? Oh, body. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? He says he cares about her, so I'll tell him. Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durham, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Oh. Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Uh, see you there. Let's go together right now. Wait. Can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. All right. Quite a few years since I was last on this floor. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. All right. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.